Uh, Andre, Baltimore was sitting at 147 homicides so far this year before the two that took place tonight. Now, and council members want to see where the city money is going to try and stop the violence. I'm absolutely disgusted with the state of public safety in this city. And my hope is that we can get some answers tonight. A tense night in city council chambers as the Baltimore Police Department fielded questions about their plan to get crime under control in a budget hearing. The police commissioner addressed the perception that the police department doesn't share a sense of urgency. Let me set the record straight and let me set it straight right here and right now. Nothing could be further from the truth. Our sense of urgency is set to maximum and it stays there and it never ever turns off. Last week, the BPD responded to a letter from the council requesting details on their short term crime plan. Commissioner Harrison says it includes initiatives to increase patrols and visibility of officers, enhanced warrant apprehension for repeat violent offenders, a targeted deployment zone in each district based on where violent crime happens, and more support from federal and state partners. Do you believe that we have enough support? Because I don't believe that we have enough police officers, enough sheriffs, enough city school police officers, enough DEA agents, and the whole line. I don't think we have enough. I am not satisfied. None of us, none of us are. I have made the ask, and I meet with our partners, the heads of each of the agencies every single month. Other questions from council included the caseload for detectives. The commissioner says there are about six cases to every detective considered an acceptable but not optimal load and questions about disciplining officers who refuse to engage because of the consent decree or other concerns. Becoming a national viral video for for making an arrest of somebody who probably legitimately should be arrested, but because they're resisting it, it's not going to be pretty and they have great concern that they could be the national viral video. They have great concerns about charges being filed against them for making a mistake in the, during the, the performance of their duty. The hearing is still going on inside tonight and all indications are it's gonna be another long night. Reporting live at City Hall, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.